Hi guys, this is Dr. Vishy. This is going to be a compilation of various interesting incidents and life-changing incidents that happened during my house surgeon period. So, it was my first day. I was posted in general surgery. I had to report at 8 a.m. to the unit chief. And I reached the hospital at 6.45 a.m. I was waiting in front of the unit chief's room. One of the assistants came and opened the room at 7.30. He was mocking me for coming so early. He told me he has never seen anyone who had come so early for the first day. I was waiting in front of sir's room and sir came at around 7.45. I went and I uh, reported to him and he asked me to go and meet the PG in the ward. I went and met my PG and he told me that uh, that day was a review OP day. And I went for the ward rounds. I always used to carry a pocket diary with me. The first day I was full of energy and enthusiasm because I knew I was going to make a difference in the lives of so many people. I'm a doctor now. I was so proud of it. And I used to make notes of anything and everything. The diagnosis of the patients, their names and the signs, the symptoms, new things. I used to have two pocket diaries, one for new drugs and so on. And I met the PG and I went for the rounds. I observed that was the first time I had observed morning rounds in the surgery department. I saw what all the assistant professors and uh, the professors were doing. And then I went to the OP. It was a review OP day. In the OP, I saw various cases. And as always, I was taking notes of the new findings or new things that I hadn't uh, known earlier. And around uh, 12.30, one of my seniors asked me to go have lunch and come. But there was a patient who was waiting outside with a hernia. The hernia the size of a football. I had never seen such a case and I didn't want to miss on it. I went to the restroom. I just washed my face. I came back and I told my senior that I had my lunch. And I examined this case. I felt so good because I had never touched such a hernia. Yeah. And after some time, I started feeling hypoglycemic but I did not tell anyone and uh, after some time uh, at around 245 I was assisting my PG doing a dressing for a patient so while I was assisting I was wearing sterile gloves and I, I was giving him the sterile things for performing the dressing and that is when I started feeling more and more giddy I started sweating a lot I started blacking out there was a chair there. Luckily, I sat in the chair. I saved myself from falling down. And after some time, I came back to consciousness. I had some water. I told my PG that I had not eaten anything. Then I went, had my uh, lunch and came. I learned a lesson that day that I should never skip my food. And after that day, I knew I can't eat on time because there'd be work. There'll be a lot of work. I used to always carry some peanut bars or chocolates or protein bars with me. Because when I don't have time to eat, I used to have these. So this was my first day. It was a very interesting one. Yeah, I'll come back to you with yet another interesting video very soon. Have a great day, guys.